Hi everyone. This week's first chapter Friday is going to be Rescue by Jennifer Nielsen. We will start with the description. Nearly two years ago, Meng Kenyon's father left their home in France to fight for the Allies in World War II. Recently, Meg heard that he had been taken prisoner by the Nazis. All Meg has left of him now are the codes he placed in a jar for her to decipher, an affectionate game the two of them once shared. But even those are running low. Suddenly, an impossible chance to save her father falls into Meg's lap when she finds an injured British spy hiding in her grandmother's barn. Captain Stewart tells her that a family of German refugees must be guided across Nazi-occupied France to neutral Spain, whereupon one of them has promised to free Meg's father. Captain Stewart was meant to guide that family, but too injured to do it, he offers the job to Meg, along with a final code from Papa to help complete the mission, perhaps the most important and most difficult code she has received yet. With the Nazis in fierce pursuit, she begins to trek across France. Leading strangers through treacherous territory, Meg faces danger and uncertainty at every turn, all while struggling to crack her father's code. The message, as she unravels it, reveals secrets deadly enough to risk the mission and even her life. Can Meg solve the puzzle, rescue the family, and save her father? So we will start at the beginning. Chapter one in this book is actually not chapter one. It is a prologue. So we will begin on May 11th, 1940. Papa stood at the gate by the road and waved goodbye. He wanted me to wave back at him, but I didn't. I couldn't. Even if I had tried, I couldn't make myself smile and send him off as if he were only going on a simple walk, not going to war. Maman stood behind me, her arm tight around my shoulder. One day, you will understand this, Maggie. France needs him now. No, we need him. What if the war came deeper into France? What if it came to this same gate and he wasn't here to protect us? He wouldn't be here. I did understand that. If the Nazis came, we would have to defend ourselves. All this had happened so fast. Four days ago, as German troops began lining our border, Papa had received a telegram from London, one that had kept him and Maman awake all night in a whispered conversation I wasn't supposed to hear. I did catch a few words, resistance, sacrifice, secret. Two days later, on the eve of the invasion, we abandoned our home near the German border and fled to an area known as per Persh to stay with Grandmère on her farm. She lived much farther from the border and we hoped that it would be safer. I doubted anywhere was safe because only one day after the Germans stormed through our border, Papa was leaving us. And no, I couldn't understand that. So I didn't wave. It was something I would regret for every single day but far. So that was like a real intense start. I really think you're gonna enjoy this book if you like historical fiction or of course books about World War II since that's gonna be its main focus. Um, this is definitely a book with a young person who is kind of the star of this story. And if you really enjoyed Project 1065 by Alan Gratz, I would encourage you to give this one a try because it's gonna have a lot of similar feels. So it is available in your library if you would like to come and check it out.